So I wanted to do a quick uh, part two, a follow-up video to the Mark of the Beast video that I did. I had somebody ask in the comments um, whether this was a literal or figurative uh, mark. Um, I want us to remember a couple of things. Uh, the book of Revelation is meant to be metaphorical language. It is written in symbolism and imagery, first century Jewish literature, um, to help us understand a deeper or bigger uh, truth. And so this particular passage in Revelation 13 and 14, you see the mark of the beast and the mark of the lamb. The mark of the lamb is just a way of saying um, these are people who have been marked by God, um, not a literal mark, but they've been sealed uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ. They've been sealed by God for salvation. They have been sealed um, as followers of the Messiah. That is in contrast to what the devil uses as a parody. He uses the mark of a bee, the, the beast, because Satan can't really, he doesn't do his own thing. He parodies whatever God does. So he makes a counterfeit to whatever God does. That's the mark of the beast. So it's this idea that metaphorically or symbolically, you're giving allegiance to the powers of the world versus God. We see this in Exodus chapter 13. We see it in Deuteronomy chapter 6. And I want to make one um, statement about Deuteronomy 6, the Shema prayer, verses 4 through 9. The Shema was an ancient Jewish prayer that was an allegiance to God. They pray this all the time. Uh, most of the time, Jews, uh, Orthodox Jews will pray this every day. The Shema prayer is a, is a powerful prayer to say, God, I give all of myself to you, my heart, my soul, my mind, my strength. Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, strength is the Hebrew word there is used 300 times. It's ma'od. M-E apostrophe O-D, ma'od, just simply means this. 300 times in the scriptures, it's used as muchness or veryness. Well, what does that mean? Well, that, in English, you use what's called an adverb, um, something to describe. It's, if I said, uh, I ran to the store very quickly, very would be ma'od, much, a lot, um, a large amount, um, d the deepest sense of getting there as quickly as possible. So that word ma'od, the only time it's translated strength is actually here in Deuteronomy chapter 6. So ma'od simply means your muchness, your veriness, your completeness as a human being. So what does it mean for us to love God with our heart, soul, mind, and ma'od? That means our muchness, everything in us. Our money, our soul, our mind, our strength, our actions, our words, our thoughts, our, our muchness. That's the word ma'od. So the mark of the beast is contrasted with the mark of the lamb. And this is figurative, not literal language, figurative, symbolic language to say, we give our muchness to God versus our muchness and our loyalty and our devotion to the God of the age and that is the beast, the number of 666, uh, the man, is just the idea of, at that time, the number 666 meant uh, um, Nero Caesar. But whatever leader is in place, the world system is the world system, because you see it on the coins in that first century and on the coins that we have today. You have people's images on there. And what God wants us to do is not give our allegiance to the state or to the or to the, the powers that be on the earth. He wants us to give our muchness, our ma'od to him and him alone. So the mark, uh, to translate it literally, would be very tough in this passage. It is symbolic language to say we are giving our complete self to God versus our self to the powers that be, the God of the age, Satan, um, any other powers, any other image, any other leader who thinks of themselves as God um, to give ourselves to them would be opposite to um, the ma'od that we would give to Jesus. Um, this is a way of describing it in the book of Revelation. What John is doing is he's just trying to help us understand what it means to follow Jesus completely in an age where we are tempted. Now, this is all the way through history. From this time, from the book of Daniel on, everybody is challenged, and we are given an option to be marked by uh, the beast or to be marked by the lamb and to be sealed by God. So if I were to use symbolic language, I would say the blood of Jesus covers a believer who has put their faith in Jesus. 
Well, to say that the blood of Jesus covers me is a symbolic language. That's a metaphor. You would understand what I was saying. I'm not literally covered in blood. That is a word picture to describe I am sealed by Jesus.